Okay, in the other video posted today, we were right up at the top of the keyboard, talking about arpeggiated runs, and um, for this second one I've come all the way down the bottom, because I'm going to talk about this um, Boogie Woogie bass line. I've actually touched on it before, but it's one that's worth looking at in a little bit of detail if you like Boogie Woogie Piano, um, because it's really, really famous. Um, it is not difficult to play, um, it's really quite simple, but it, it's quite tiring to play, it needs a lot of practice. Um, let me play through it a couple of times in a, in a 12 bar boogie woogie and um, see if you can get a sense of, uh, sense of how it feels. hands hurting, yeah? Um, before I talk about the pain of learning to do that, let's look at what it is. Really, it's very simple. We're taking, in the key of C here, obviously, the basic chord of C, and going on to the sixth, and then the dominant seventh, and back down again. So very simple. But as you can see, instead of just doing it in, one, uh, one octave, we're doubling it up. It's a little bit easier going up than it is going down, because going up, you're just doing that, and then the way down you have to jump. And you, it takes a little bit of practice but you get into it, so that's how you do it on the C chord. On the F, same thing, but we're using F, A, C, D, and E flat, and then back to C. Uh, one of the things I should have said is that um, if you're not familiar with 12 bar sequences and how 12 bar works and some of the stuff I'm talking here about chords, check out my playlists on blues piano, several tutorials there, and quite a few on piano chords as well. Just have a look at my channel. Okay, and then on G, I'm a dominant. Okay. And this is the difficult bit because you have to get onto F quickly. Another big leap, okay? Now, two things to um, get your head around there. Firstly, um, while it's not particularly technically difficult, it's really tiring. I played two times through there and I'm, my left hand was getting quite tired. I do know boogie woogie pianists who can do that for hours, and it's 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 just like you know running or cycling or whatever. The more you do it, the stronger your muscles will get, the more endurance you'll get. Um, I tend not to play long boogie woogies with that bass on simply because I can't be bothered to put in the hours of practice. Um, so one of the things you can do is intersperse it with a break, uh, a broken left hand, a break left hand. In it. I don't know what term you'd use there, but you can do things like this. Okay, I'm, I'm back into the uh, standard boogie. So you could do you know, a couple of times through the left hand and then do the breaks and then a couple of times again just to give your hand a rest. The other thing you can do is just do it in one octave. I think it's a bit boring really, um, but m maybe you want to try it if you uh, are, are just getting used to it. Okay, so quite simple but a bit of a wrist breaker. The other thing to say is that you're bound to make mistakes. You probably, when I was playing through my sample version, you probably saw me hit quite a few wrong notes. The thing to say about that is, it doesn't really matter. It's boogie woogie, it's not Bach. Um, and it is um, what the left hand's primarily doing there is providing a rhythm. It's being a it's being a you know a drum kit in a bass section. So the actual notes you hit, although yeah they are kind of important. If you get the old wrong one, no big deal. What's important for the harmony is what's going on up here, and the general feel you get from the left hand. 
the main thing to keep do doing and the, the, the main sort of attraction and benefit of, uh, of that left hand is the real pounding thudding bass line you can get out of it which is on, on a big piano especially if you ever play this on a grand piano it's beautiful really make the room shake Any questions, comments, um, stick them in the comment thread and I will happily get back to you. Okay, thanks very much.